Good day, I'm FJ. Today I'm going to share with you how to strengthen your kidneys naturally. Are you or anyone that you know is suffering from kidney disease, kidney infection, kidney failure, or even kidney issues? If yes, this video could be beneficial to you or people around you. Sam Sujatra, Sai FJ, I need seakan berkongsi petua-petua untuk meningkatkan kesihatan buah pinggan tanpa obat-obat. Adakah anda ataupun orang yang anda kenali mengalami kesakitan, penyakit, kerosakan ataupun masalah-masalah buah pinggan? Jika ya, video ini boleh memanfaatkan anda ataupun orang yang anda kenali. I hope that this video can help more people. In order to do so, I need your support. I appreciate if you can like, share and follow. Saya berharap video ini boleh menolong lebih ramai orang untuk mencapai impian itu. Saya memerlukan support anda. Sila like, share dan follow. In order to show my appreciation to you, one follower in this post will be chosen to receive a full body treatment worth 250 ringgit. All you need to do is like, share and follow. Untuk menunjukkan penghargaan saya, seorang follower akan dipilih untuk mendapati terapi seluruh badan. Ya yeah, betul, seluruh badan. Bernilai 250 ringgit. Yeah. What are the causes of kidney disease or kidney failure? Apakah punca-punca biasa kesakitan ataupun penyakit buah pinggan? I'm going to share with you the common causes. Number one, smoking. Smoking, merokok. Number two, high blood pressure. Tekanan darah yang tinggi. Number three, high cholesterol. Cholesterol yang tinggi. Number four, anyone who is suffering from diabetes. Sesiapa yang mengidap penyakit kencing manis. Number five, urinary tract infection or problem with the urinary tract. Tract air kencing yang tersumbat next is kidney stone kidney stone stone in the kidney or stone in the urinary tract pembentukan batu di dalam tract air kencing ataupun di dalam buah pinggan next is taking too much of painkiller or aspirin terlalu banyak Mengambil ubat tahan sakit, painkiller. Next is, someone who is suffering from SLE, systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE. Sesiapa yang mengidap SLE, kemungkinan besar boleh mendapat ataupun mengidap penyakit buah pinggan ataupun masalah-masalah buah pinggan. What are the ways to improve, to strengthen the health of the kidneys naturally no drugs apakah cara-cara yang mudah yang anda boleh buat di rumah ataupun di mana-mana untuk meningkatkan kesihatan buah pinggan tanpa ubat so I'm going to share with you 10 simple methods that you can do at home or anywhere suitable for anyone now you can do this every day you can do this every day it's safe and you can do until you notice sign of improvement in your kidney disease which means when you notice that your kidney disease is in, it's, uh, it's improving then you can slowly or gradually cut down these 10 steps anda boleh gunakan petua-petua yang saya akan berkongsi 10 petua setiap hari jangan buat satu hari dan stop Lebih, lebih baik buat setiap hari Sampailah anda dapat Memerhati 
pemulihan pemulihan buah pinggan ataupun penyakit buah pinggan sudah berkurangan lepas itu anda boleh uh, kurangkan gradually kurangkan sikit-sikit alright so the first method is drink 10 glasses of water this would cleanse toxin from the kidneys minum 10 cawan air masak 10 cawan air masak dia akan menolong menolong menghapuskan toksin-toksin di dalam buah pinggan number 2 coffee is good but drinking too much coffee is no good so cut down the number of coffee preferably one or two a day jangan minum terlalu banyak kopi uh, recommended dosage the recommended ialah satu atau dua cawan maximum sehari untuk sesiapa yang minum alkohol jangan minum alkohol alcohol is a no no so you need to avoid alcohol at all number third method is very simple take on probiotic probiotic you can buy it anywhere probiotic has scientifically proven to improve the kidney functionality Penyelidikan telah menunjukkan probiotik boleh meningkatkan fungsi-fungsi buah pinggan. Ya, yeah, betul. Scientifically proven. Number four, take vitamin C. Why? Because vitamin C can help to protect the tissues in the kidney. Yes, it can help to protect the tissues, especially tissue recovery and the growth of tissue in the kidney vitamin C boleh menggalakkan pertumbuhan tisu-tisu di dalam buah pinggan number 5 you need parsley parsley you need parsley parsley about that much Pasti, about that much. Daun, pasti, lebih kurang satu tangan, about this much. Next is, you need coriander, again, coriander, about this much. Daun ketumbar, lebih kurang satu tangan about this much lebih kurang satu tangan and you need five slices of lemon and one teaspoon or two teaspoon of honey mix them together leave it for about one hour or two hours and drink it you can do this morning when you wake up and the night before you go to bed This drink, this homemade drink will help you to cleanse your kidney. At the same time, it also improve the functionality of your kidney. So, minuman ini mudah saja. Anda perlukan daun ketumbar, daun pasli, lima keping lemon, dan satu sudu atau dua sudu madu. madu. Campur dalam secawan air. Biarkan untuk satu jam atau dua jam lepas itu minum. Anda boleh minum dua kali dalam satu hari, pagi dan sebelum tidur. Pagi bila bangun dan secawan sebelum anda tidur. Next is apple. Apple is very helpful in maintaining the acidity of the kidneys. At the same time, it improve, it improve. The functionality of the kidney as well because our kidneys are acidic by nature therefore apple is good so you can take one apple or two apples a day apple adalah bagus untuk men, untuk membantu kidney maintain acidity level 
Anda boleh makan satu atau dua apple sehari. Nombor tujuh, kurangkan makanan daging. Reduce the amount of meat that you're eating. In between protein from meat and protein from plant-based, I will highly recommend replace meat-based protein to plant-based protein, such as egg, such as uh, kale, spinach, soya, red bean. So these are some examples. Of course, egg is uh, egg is is in between because egg is a produce of an animal. So egg is safe for the kidney. Kurangkan makanan daging. Tukarkan makanan daging, protein dari daging dengan protein dari tumbuh-tumbuhan, plant-based protein. Number eight, reduce the amount of sugar. If you need sugar, take it from fruits. Take it from fruits. Kurangkan makanan gula-gula, makanan yang bergula. Ataupun bila anda minum, jangan letak gula. Try to avoid or reduce the amount of sugar. Number nine, reduce the amount of salt. If you can, don't add salt at all. Garam. Garam tidak digalakan. Kurangkan ataupun elakkan makanan yang ada garam. And finally, number 10 is to reduce oily food. Makanan yang berlemak ataupun oily, kurangkan ataupun elakkan. That's all. These are the 10 simple steps to improve your kidney health. Ini adalah 10 petua-petua muda untuk meningkatkan kesihatan buah pinggan. I hope you can leave some comments or suggestion or any questions and I'll be happy to answer. Uh, anda boleh leave comment ataupun anda boleh leave uh, apa-apa persoalan anda ataupun apa-apa idea anda di sini. Saya akan menjawab semua soalan, semua komen. That's all for today. And uh, stay tuned. I'll be making more videos about self-improvement, health improvement. And itu saja untuk hari ini. Saya harap anda boleh like, share dan follow. Bye-bye.